Some heads and uh, basically, I just want to do um, a new tutorial episodes, tutorial episodic saga of me playing uh, Thunder and eventually Fogor. But right now, the uh, name of the series is called um, Thundercracker. And uh, basically, let me give you a brief background. Um, then the first Killer Instinct I made. Um, second. Uh, Killer Instinct I main my uh, third one I choose to play with Thunder because he just he just you know he just fits I guess he, you could say uh, he's a grappler he's like the first grappler in the Killer Instinct universe I don't recall playing or seeing another grappler and um, he's pretty good I mean he's just one of the slowest characters in the game not the slowest but one of the slowest but he does hell of a damage and um, I just want to do a brief uh, little chapter or episode talking about um, what I've noticed in uh, within me and within other thunders out there um, uh, as you know a lot of gamers have been complaining about uh, the Jago army as you can see and rightfully so they should be uh, complaining about him because he's a very balanced character. He's like one of the balanced, most balanced characters in the game. Um, he's basically right. I mean, he has into Kugans and uh, wind kicks and shadow, you know, laser sword and uh, dragon punch. Um, so he can pretty much soul you out or rush you down or play keep away, and that's his job. Whereas, you know, Thunder, who is a grappler, his job is to get close to you and uh, do damage and give you free hugs make your life uh, very uncomfortable so we're at a, a point of uh, no return or a point where you know you want to keep away from me and I want to get close to you so what are we gonna do how are we gonna fix that um, most online Jagos um, pretty much want to stay away and where we run into a problem as Thunder is that we fall for a lot of the bull crap and shenanigans and gimmicks because as you can see a lot of times I'm not saying all Jagos there are some Jagos that's in your face and will destroy you without a problem we consider those the good to the great to the best to the elite Jagos but what we're running a problem with is the Jagos that are mediocre and almost on the cusp of being good um, ones that do shenanigans to keep you uh, frustrated and as you can say just Usually you see uh, Jagos throw into Kugans to uh, keep you out of the way for them and uh, come in and beat you up like that, which is a problem, so to speak. So the um, reason why I'm doing this video is to educate and motivate you on becoming better with Thunder. In today's episode... I really want to talk about um, Okis and uh, Taps. Basically, Oki or Okazami is a, a tactic or strategy that was created by the Japanese players and uh, they have perfected it and used it to uh, win tournaments and win matches. Today I just want to talk a little brief about it and maybe it can help uh, a lot of Thunders out there that's got problems with players or uh, opponents such as Jago. Today we're going to talk about how to uh, get over that and hopefully that can help you out. So that's basically what Okazami is. You basically put your opponent on there before they wake up. You're trying to put them in a position and figure out how you're going to uh, knock them back down basically. 
you put in the okie game. All right, and you just want to make sure that you want to set yourself, especially if you're playing Thunder, which is a grappler, you want to set yourself up in a perfect position to uh, not only terrorize, but also to uh, make your opponent be more predictable. And Oki, Oki, Oki game can help that, assist that. So, also, I wanted to talk about basically i've been you know i've been playing this game off and on i really haven't been playing as much as i should but just recently i've been playing and i noticed that i was getting stuck at the trial horse plateau of the trial horse up rank and i'll go from trial horse to back to apprentice back to apprentice to trial horse and you know it was just you know i may hit with young blood and it was just being frustrating but what happened was i was just playing their game instead of playing my game but a lot of new players i won't even use a derogatory term and call you guys the old niners because i feel that's wrong basically new gamers you know new gamers coming into the playing game genre they uh they usually mimic what they see on you know at streams or at tournaments or casuals or what have you and they play the game or try to mimic, you know, their best players instead of coming or formulating their own game plan. Um, well, basically, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you're going to play this game, if you want to be good, or you know, what separates a good player from a mediocre player is to have a game plan. Formulate a game plan and find one that fits for you. Uh, what I've done is uh, I created a game plan myself, uh, and I named it Taps. That's going to be uh, tactical and practical. And here, this, here's the situation. Like, okay, you know, we all know Jagos are going in the corner. We know that they want to stay in the corner. And they're going to try to bait us to come in the corner after they throw it. I'm not saying all Jagos. I'm talking about mediocre. They'll scrub us out because we fall for their tricks and their tactics. Um, you know, we normally as Thunder, we just all we see is we're gonna come in and give them combos and do combos, even if it's a uh, optimized or not we're going to do combos and then we're just going to play and chase the game where like I can only speak from experience like I would see them in the corner I would do an optimized combo but then I would end it or try to end it with um shot of the earth you know instead of ankle slicer or instead of um, a forward grab and keep them in the combo I would just try to do that because of course shot of the earth is it does more damage but at the same time the placing is wrong. This is what I'm talking about. Like, let's say I come in with a drop kick. I can make the combo longer, but I didn't want to make it, you know, I'm just doing this to prove a point. As you can see, that was a very damaging combo. It was a high impact combo, but the placing is wrong. Look where, look, look at the placing. Look where he is and look where I am. Now I'm in the corner and he's not and of course he can either advance and try to destroy me but or he will you know if he got life lead regardless of what I did he can jump back and he can go fancy free play with himself and you know play with his Indicugans meanwhile I'm back here you know I gave him that out I'm back here doing stupid stuff because I was an idiot and I let him out the corner see what I'm saying that's why I divided a game plan for me called TAPS tactical and placing strategy as you can see, he's out of here. He's out the corner. He's good. Tick tock. Time is going down. Here I am, you know, as an idiot. Let him out. And he's over here like, haha, look. Hmm. We throw fireballs. Oh, you jumped. Oh, I hit you. Good. Congratulations. You win nothing. Whereas. As, like you said, like I said, as if I did a combo like that, as you can see, is that it was a damaging combo, not as damaging as the other one, but as you can see, he's still in the corner, and I want to keep him in the corner. If I don't keep him in the corner, then it's going to be problems and trials and tribulations, and I got to chase him, yada yada. We don't want to go through that. So I just want to place him in the corner and keep him in the corner, destroy him in the corner, let him die in that corner. <laughs> so. Also, another thing I noticed, a lot of people, as we as Thunders, I've seen this, and, you know, I've been watching several, you know, several uh, high 
level thunders playing at tournaments right now i mean it's still it, the game still is in infancy but i still see a lot of uh thunders don't use his uh back throw you know in a combo you know his back throw is considered a uh a linker you know he's one of the few characters in this game that has a throw within a you can use it in a combo case in point Case in point, I've been calling it Shout of the Earth, Call of the Earth, excuse me. Case in point, as you can see, throw back, throw backwards. Throw backwards you can use as a combo. It's very good and can be used if you use it correctly. I'm not saying use it all the time because people adapt. I'm just saying in certain situations you want to use it. Like case in point, what happens if you're in the corner? You fight your way out. What are you gonna do? You know, you know. If I was in a corner, I would normally go something like this. That was in day one. I would do something like that. But look, look where he's at. Look where I'm at. Does that really, really, truly make sense? That's what I'm talking about, Oki, and that's what I'm talking about, Taps. He's far away. I'm a grappler. I need to get him to get to destroy him. So why would I? Why would that combo make any sense at all? Where a combo like this would be more reasonable, I should say. See, even though I didn't hit him, but you get the point. Even though I was in the corner. I brought him into the corner. Brought him into the corner. Now he's in the corner. He's staying in the corner. Why would I throw him out of the corner? If you, it depends, and it'll be adaptive. Be adaptive. Like if I was to throw him out of the corner, the only way I would makes sense to throw him out of the corner is to be flashy which you don't want to do I mean you can but I mean to be flashy and to get more damage if you know if he's like about to die or you know lose green life to go into the next round which is red life or he's about in you know about to be danger I would do something to the to the signs like I would do something like this I mean put him right back in the corner do something like that that's you know that would, the only way I would like throw him out the corner is if I'm going to put him right back in the corner with something like that but you know like they said the risk is too high what happens if he sh you know counter break me or shadow counter me or something like that you just gotta figure out what works for you and how to do it that's the end of the game